House of Cards is brought to you by Drizzly, your online liquor store. Available in over 95 cities across North America, Drizzly offers a huge selection and competitive pricing with a side of personalized content. Now there's no need to leave the house. Get alcohol delivered in less than an hour by Drizzly. Head on over to drizzly.com and order today. And now get $5 off your first order of $20 or more when using promo code DRINK19 at checkout. Shop beer, wine, and liquor with drizzly.com. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you're listening to House of Cards. Today, the game is different. I want to gamble. Gambling is a very serious business. Is that clear? Welcome to House of Cards. Dave Weishelder with you here deep from the swamps of Jersey. we got a great show coming up for you. The Kentucky Derby is one of the sports world's premier events. It also serves as the backdrop of a great book by first-time author Mark Paul. The book is called The Greatest Gambling Story Ever Told, A True Tale of Three Gamblers, The Kentucky Derby, and The Mexican Cartel. Coming up, we're going to hear all about this amazing story from the author himself, Mark Paul. So stick around. We'll be right back with House of Cards. <laughs> The IRS $10,000. The IRS garnished my wages. They put a lien on my house. I'm self-employed and didn't report all my income. They claim I owe a lot more than I do. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency in the world. They do not give up until you pay. I couldn't sleep. We were being audited. I called Tax Solutions Now and a great big weight was lifted off my shoulders. I called Tax Solutions Now and they got the IRS off my back. Tax Solutions Now had my wages wage garnishment lifted in 48 hours. Tax Solutions Now can get you help. Our agents know the rules, can stop the pain, and get you the best deal. Tax Solutions Now saved my business. I qualified for the Fresh Start program. I paid less than I owed. We connect you with a team of former IRS agents and tax professionals who get the IRS off your back. Time is running out. Call Tax Solutions Now. Call 800-297-9788. 800-297-9788. Psst. Yeah, you. Come here. Haven't you heard? We don't need to hide anymore. Now, we can shop privately for adult products at adamandeve.com. They've got massage oils, lingerie, and lots more we can't mention here. Use offer code SPICE404. They'll give you 50% off almost any one item, three free DVDs, free mystery gift, and free shipping. That's 50% off, free shipping, and more. Private shopping starts at adamandeve.com. Is your bathroom looking old and worn out? Want to update it, but you don't know where to start? Then let BCI Bath & Shower show you how to turn that old bath into an aisle of beauty and functionality. Our residential bathroom solutions provide the best value on the market, and our customer service is second to none. Our cost-effective BCI Bath & Shower family of products has what you need. Remodeling our bathroom was a big decision for us. They didn't make a mess out of our house at all. And at the end of the day, we had a beautiful new bathroom. And it was a great experience the whole way through. We have the best monthly payment programs in the industry with payments as low as $68 per month or no interest, no payments for 18 months. 
For a limited time, be one of the first 100 callers who schedule a free in-home consultation and receive $500 off. Call 1-800-594-9530. 1-800-594-9530. Factory trained and certified installers made in the USA and discounts for seniors and military. BCI Bath & Shower, the leader in affordable bathroom products. You're listening to House of Cards. I'll bet you 20 bucks I can get you gambling before the end of the day. No way. I'll give you three to one odds. No. Five to one. No. Ten to one. You're on. Welcome back to House of Cards. Dave Weishaddle with you. House of Cards is brought to you by BetMGM Casino. Play your favorite casino games at BetMGM Online Casino. Slots, table games, live dealer games, everything you love about Atlantic City and Vegas, all online at BetMGM. Go to BetMGM Casino, create an account using our promo code TURNPIKE, and become a verified player. New players get $25 free when signing up, plus a first deposit bonus up to $1,000. That's promo code TURNPIKE at BetMGM.com for a 100% deposit match up to $1,000 plus $25 free. Must be 21 years or older to place a bet. Terms and conditions apply. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. The Kentucky Derby is one of the sports world's premier events. It also serves as the backdrop of a great book by first-time author Mark Paul. Mark Paul is the author of The Greatest Gambling Story Ever Told, A True Tale of Three Gamblers, The Kentucky Derby, and The Mexican Cartel, and it's an amazing story. And to tell us all about it, we have Mark Paul on the line. Mark, thanks for joining us. Good morning, Dave. How are you? Oh, great. Mark, I read your book from cover to cover, and at no point did I not feel nervous for you guys. Without giving away the great (laughs) ending in the book, can you tell us a little bit about what your book is about? Absolutely, Dave. It's just it's a true story that happened to me in, in 1988. And for a couple of reasons, like, namely that uh, perhaps some of the money wasn't claimed with the IRS <laughs> and the fact that we actually collected our money, uh, or in, I should say we were in a position to collect our money uh, from the Mexican cartel. Uh, I thought maybe it was prudent not to tell the story for about three decades, but finally I got to the point where I said, I, I got to tell this story. <clears throat> what What happened is that, we were semi-professional horse players. You know, we had real jobs too, like uh, commercial real estate brokers. But the fact is that we were going to the track every day, and it was an amazing time to be a horse player at the at the racetrack. We were members of the turf club. You had to, you know, make a reservation to get in, and the place was packed, and there were beautiful women and hats, and it was a scene at the track. And there was this filly uh, in 1987 named Winning Colors, and she was winning all of her races dominantly. And she was owned by Eugene Klein, who owned the uh, San Diego Chargers a professional football team. And he was getting on in years. He'd had a heart attack. We saw an interview. And they asked him, he said, Mr. Klein, you own this horse. Winning colors is winning all of her races by, you know, open legs. And you also own a professional football team. Mr. Klein, if you could win the Super Bowl, you could win the Kentucky Derby, which would you take? He says, oh, I would definitely take the Derby. At the time, there's 26 professional football teams. One of them's going to win, and there's 40,000 horses born every year. It's so much harder to win the Derby. I'd win the Derby. And so my buddy and I go, you know what? This guy's had a heart attack. He's a billionaire. His dream in life is to win the Kentucky Derby. I bet maybe he puts this filly in against the boys in the Derby. That's, mind you, uh, Dave, this is six months before the race. Mm -hmm. So we say, all right, what can we get in the futures? What what, what odds can we find? And we see she's only 12 to one in Las Vegas. And we keep searching. We find out she's 50 to one on this little honky racetrack down in Tijuana called Agua Caliente. It's 50 to one. So we go down and we, (laughs) we we bet our asses off on her 51 uh, in Mexico, if you can believe that. (laughs) You know, I, I got to tell you, what struck me from reading the book and even listening to the story you, you just told is your love and knowledge of the horse racing business. What got you interested in the horse racing business and the behind-the-scenes aspect of the sport? Oh, man. I first went to the track. I was 14 years old. <clears throat> and a lot of horse players will tell you this. When I walked in, 
to Santa Anita at 14 years old. That was it. That was the greatest place I'd ever seen. I, I just fell in love with horse racing. The whole idea that you could pick up a past performances and study that and, and try to figure out who the winners are going to be. And then the excitement of, you know, you're, you're outdoors and the, and the horses and the people and the screaming. And this is such a beautiful sport. And then when you can put money on it at the same time, I, I was totally, totally hooked. And, you know, that's, I've heard that from a lot of horse players. It's like, it's kind of like a gene. You either, you get exposed to the racetrack, you either have it or you, <laughs> you either fall in love with it or you, it's not going to work for you. But for me, that was it. You, you know, uh, reading the book, you know, in the center of the story is Winning Colors. And uh, Winning Colors is a filly, and, and they don't really do well in the Kentucky Derby. It's very rare that they actually win. What did you and your friend Dino see in Winning Colors that made you really think, you know, this horse has a shot? Well, we were... We were probably stupid at the time and didn't know it. I mean, the fact is that a, that a filly, a female, had only won the Derby twice uh, in 114 years. <laughs> and, you know, these cr- crazy gamblers we are, we think that this filly can win. But it, she was unique in that she was, her nickname was the Amazon. She weighed nearly 1,200 pounds. Um, and it was kind of funny, you know, in the Derby, everybody thought, Oh well, you know this little petite filly can't go against these ginormous big, you know, dead colts. And the fact is that she was the biggest horse in the race, and she outweighed outweighed almost every other horse in the race by two hundred pounds. So you know we thought that she had a real chance to this. Okay, hold that thought. We're going to take a quick break. See you on the other side. seniors with Medicare. This is an important announcement. Did you know you may qualify for a monthly Social Security rebate? Did you know you may qualify for a $0 monthly premium? That's right. You may qualify to get $135 added back to your Social Security check each month. Just call the Medicare Benefits line to get your options. It's a free call. You may also qualify for $0 premiums, dental coverage, vision coverage, hearing coverage, and prescription drug coverage. With this type of plan, you don't need Medicare supplement insurance. Call now because you deserve to get the most from your Medicare benefits, including a rebate to your Social Security check each month. Agents are standing by with free information regarding Medicare benefits. It's a free call with no obligation, but it could mean big savings for you. Call the Medicare Benefits line now to see if you're eligible for a Social Security rebate. Call 800-574-6770. 800-574-6770. You're listening to House of Cards. Your Majesty, the royal wrestlers await. I'll bet on the little guy. How much? 3,000 guineas, two geese, and a duck. That's a foul bet. Welcome back to House of Cards. Dave Weishato with you. House of Cards is brought to you by BetMGM Casino. Play your favorite casino games at BetMGM Online Casino. Slots, table games, live dealer games, everything you love about Atlantic City and Vegas, 
all online at BetMGM. Go to BetMGM Casino, create an account using our promo code TURNPIKE, and become a verified player. New players get $25 free when signing up, plus a first deposit bonus up to $1,000. That's promo code TURNPIKE at BetMGM.com for a 100% deposit match up to $1,000 plus $25 free. Must be 21 years or older to place a bet. Terms and conditions apply. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. For those of you just joining us, I am talking with Mark Paul, author of the book The Great gambling story ever told a true tale of three gamblers the kentucky derby and the mexican cartel sorry about that radio has to do its business you know why don't you continue what you were saying before the break and when we found out that you know they were going to offer us 50 to 1 on her we bet our but mind you we bet on her like six months before the race but but the problem really came Dave, in that <clears throat> as we got closer to the race we started hearing these really scary, yeah. <laughs> very sketchy stories uh, about Agua Caliente and Tijuana, that the track was going to go out of business. So we started um, reading all about it, and quickly we found out that the, ra- that the racetrack was owned by a prominent member of the cartel. And we're like, oh, crap, this is not <laughs> good. You mean to tell us that, um, you know, we'd wound up the my buddy Dino and – our other associate, uh, Big Bernie, and wound up betting about $25,000 on her to win the Derby. We had a million two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to collect, which is a lot of money, by the way, in 1988. Uh, and we, we're thinking now, oh, great, if we win, we've got to go to Tijuana and collect a million two hundred and fifty thousand dollars from the Mexican cartel. <laughs> uh, you know, wouldn't it be easier for them just to, uh, you know, uh, not pay us or kill us or, you know, or pay us and rob us in the parking lot on the way out. So, you know, usually when you get these kind of horse stories, um, you know, they're kind of Disney-like, you know, and the, yeah. you know, the horse wins and everybody's cheering and everybody gets married and everybody's happy. This is not that kind of story <laughs> <laughs> because when, when she goes in the Derby, uh, and I don't mind telling you that she wins the Derby because that's not the end of the story. No, that's no. really when the story really heats up is now my buddies and I have to go down to TJ and try to collect a million bucks from the cartel. And, and it was scarier than you can imagine because we had found out there was this journalist, a uh, guy named, um, his nickname was uh, the cat, yeah. El Gato. And he was a, the most famous journalist in all of Mexico, or I should say, or at least in, in, in Northern Mexico. And he was writing negative stories about the owner of the racetrack. And a month before our derby, his offices, the journalist's offices, are machine gunned in broad daylight, <laughs> and he survives. And this, this crazy guy, instead of, like, backing off, digs in deeper and starts writing more stories uh, about the owner of the racetrack. And now two weeks before the Kentucky Derby, he writes another big story, and he is murdered. <laughs> He's shotgunned to death in broad daylight. And the guys that shot him are arrested, and they turn out the guys that shot the journalist are the head of security for the Agua Caliente racetrack, and the the racetrack's personal bodyguard are arrested for the murder. So now we know that not only is the racetrack owned uh, you know, by suspected cartel guys, that even somebody just writes a bad article in the newspaper winds up dead. What the hell is he going to do? the guys that try to win a million dollars from him, you know, on the derby. So we're scared to death, but you know, and the, and the story in the book goes on in detail. About, yeah, absolutely. You know, well, 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 let so me ask what we you had to do, I certainly won't tell anymore. <laughs> well, when you read that story about the death of the reporter, what was going through your head? Was there talk about, you know what, even if we win, should we not go down and collect? What was going through you and Dino's head when you saw that report about the reporter? <laughs> yeah, that definitely crossed their mind. So yeah. <laughs> we're immediately trying to figure out. We're like going, we're like, okay, we'll we'll get like a Brinks truck. We'll get an armored truck, and then we check that out. And yeah, we can bring an armored truck, but we're not allowed to have armed guards. <laughs> and then we thought, well, we'll get a we'll get an armed guards in Tijuana to bring it up for us. We're saying that's that's probably like paying somebody to rob you. Yeah. Um, it was so. What we did, and I think this is my favorite scene in the book, and a lot of people's a bit. 
we thought, well, okay, we'll be really smart. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go down and we'll actually watch the Kentucky Derby physically in Tijuana the day of the Derby because there's going to be like probably, you know, 6,000 people in the race and sports book. They're not going to kill us right in broad daylight with 6,000 people watching us. That'll be smart. So we go down there, and if you can imagine being in a little teeny racetrack in Tijuana on a little teeny black and white television, watching the Kentucky Derby on a you know 16 inch television, knowing that you have a million two hundred and fifty thousand dollars on the line, and we went down there. Winning Colors does win the Derby, but like I say, that's not giving away the end of the story. Um, and we we go to the windows and we tell them, you know, pay us please. And they're like, no, we're not paying you today. Come back another day. We're like, no way we're coming back in another day. <laughs> you, you, you want us to come back like on, like on a Tuesday morning when nobody's here? I, I don't think so. So it was a really scary time. But, uh, you know, like all gamblers, <laughs> we wanted to get our damn money. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was, that was the most interesting thing for the book for me was when you and Dino were trying to think of ways, you know, if we won this, how are we going to get the money out? I even You even talked about uh, using a guy called 20% Tim, which was very interesting. I mean, <laughs> with the, how long did those conversations between you and Dino last? I mean, were they weeks on end? Did you call each other every <laughs> week and say, how are we going to do this? I don't know that we, we, they didn't last too long. We usually did it like at a Mexican bar drinking margaritas or something. <laughs> <laughs> we, you know, we just, we, we thought, we thought that we would, uh, you know, we thought we had it figured out, but we didn't. I mean, like I said, when I was reading the book, I was nervous for you guys. Number one, whether they're going to pay off the bet. Number two, how are you going to get your winnings out? But I was really concerned for your friend, Big Bernie, who had even a bigger bet than you guys on winning color. I think Big Bernie had the most interesting plan on what to do if he won. What was Big Bernie's plan, and did you ever consider doing what he was doing with regard to the winnings? Yeah, Big Bernie's plan, um, right at that time in 1988, they were evolving really into uh, sports gambling, particularly in Tijuana at the track. And his plan was if the horse should win, and mind you, affiliate won once in 114 years, um, and by the way, has not won since. i show you how difficult it really was. Um, his plan was to deposit the money and just leave the money at the racetrack in a sports gambling account and not even try to bring the money back into the United States, but he was planning on continuing his life <laughs> to become a rich man in Mexico and stay down there. We, 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 we wanted to get the money and get the hell out. I wasn't planning on spending a lot of time in Tijuana. Stick around. We'll be right back with House of Cards. the IRS $10,000. The IRS garnished my wages. They put a lien on my house. I'm self-employed and didn't report all my income. They claim I owe a lot more than I do. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency in the world. They do not give up until you pay. I couldn't sleep. We were being audited. I called Tax Solutions Now and a great big weight was lifted off my shoulders. I called Tax Solutions Now and they got the IRS off my back. Tax Solutions Now had my wages. Wage garnishment lifted in 48 hours. Tax Solutions Now can get you help. Our agents know the rules, can stop the pain, and get you the best deal. Tax Solutions Now saved my business. I qualified for the Fresh Start program. I paid less than I owed. We connect you with a team of former IRS agents and tax professionals who get the IRS off your back. Time is running out. Call Tax Solutions Now. Call 800-297-9788. 800-297-9788. Hey, this is Dave Weishadol from House of Cards with your House of Cards Gaming Report for the week of October 11th, 2021. 
For the sixth straight month, Nevada gaming revenue topped $1 billion. According to the Nevada Gaming Control Board, gaming revenue in August hit $1.17 billion, a 56.9% increase from this time last year. Slots made up the majority of August's revenue, bringing in over $825 million. The Cordish Company grabbed top honors in two states, according to Casino Player Magazine's annual Best of Gaming Awards. The new live casino and hotel Philadelphia, which opened this year, won Best Overall Gaming Resort in Pennsylvania. And Live Casino and Hotel Maryland won the top honor for Best Casino in Maryland. Casino Player Magazine's Best of Gaming Awards are an annual survey of its readers' favorite gaming properties. And finally, with the World Series of Poker going on right now in Las Vegas, it's time again to submit nominations for the Poker Hall of Fame. Some of the requirements for your nominations, the person nominated must be at least 40 years old, has played for high stakes, and must have played against top competition. If you have someone in mind, you can submit their name to wsop.com slash phof. Please remember to spell my name right. Have any news or tips regarding casinos, gaming, or legislation? Send us an email at newsroom at houseofcardsradio.com and follow us on Twitter at HOC Radio. You're listening to House of Cards. I'm talking sick piles of money. I'm talking lay on your bed in your Vegas room, throw the money in the air, and dance as it showers down on you money. I'm talking frosted glass limo money. I'm talking big Cowboy hat, silver, turquoise buckle money. I'm talking gambling. I am in love with you. Welcome back to House of Cards. Dave Weishaddle with you. House of Cards is brought to you by BetMGM Casino. Play your favorite casino games at BetMGM Online Casino. Slots, table games, live dealer games, everything you love about Atlantic City and Vegas, all online at BetMGM. Go to BetMGM Casino, create an account using our promo code TURNPIKE, and become a verified player. New players get $25 free when signing up, plus a first deposit bonus up to $1,000. That's promo code TURNPIKE at BetMGM.com for a 100% deposit match up to $1,000 plus $25 free. Must be 21 years or older to place a bet. Terms and conditions apply. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. For those of you just joining us, I am talking with Mark Paul, author of the book The Greatest Gambling Story Ever Told, A True Tale of Three Gamblers, The Kentucky Derby, and The Mexican Cartel. You know, g- give us a picture of what this racetrack looked like. I mean, you know, when you say racetrack, I think of I'm here in New Jersey. We have a lot of racetracks here. You're in California. You have the r- beautiful racetracks there. I-, I was trying to picture what the racetrack in Tijuana looked like. Give us a mental picture of what this racetrack looked like. Uh, well, you know, you know, Dave, that, that's what's kind of fun about the book, too, is that, you know, today everything's, uh, you know, it's great that things are becoming legal and all that, but it's also becoming kind of sterilized. Yeah. And this was not like that. Um, Albert Kelly was built, I believe, somewhere around like 1920. And it was like Caesar's Palace before there was Caesar's Palace. It was magnificent and soaring ceilings. And they had a, a casino and a spa and a hotel. And it was it was amazing, but it had fallen on very, very hard times. And I always say, I don't know if I think you guys remember that it was a really colorful movie called Planet of the Apes. <laughs> and they go back to New York City, and it's, it's you know, 200 years later, and you see the Statue of Liberty, but it's three quarters covered in sand, and the whole city is <laughs> wiped out. That's a little like what Augur Caliente was. It was a, a shell of its former self. So you would walk through this cavernous, magnificent casino. You can imagine walking through like Caesar's Palace, but it's 200 years later, and it's you know, it looks like it's been bombed out in Beirut or something. <laughs> so they have smoke-filled rooms, a lot of wild drinking going on, and you know, hot tequila pouring girls running around, and you know, you could you could drink the tequila off the girls arms and stomachs or whatever as long as you <laughs> tipped her well and it was a wild kind of lawless kind of place um and i think a lot of gamblers kind of appreciate just reading about you know the way things were at one time it was it was it was, the, it was it wasn't just the wild west it was the, the wild mexican wild west <laughs> 
now, as you said, you, you did win the bet, and I'm not going to give away the ending part because it's an absolutely fantastic story about how you actually got your winnings. But I will ask, whose idea was it to get those bodyguards that you brought down? And did you know you were in trouble when you, <laughs> when you first set eyes on those bodyguards? I mean, did you think you were in trouble? Because I was thinking, man, these guys are going to get rolled. Yeah, <laughs> well, we got the brilliant idea when we couldn't, when we had to go collect the money. And we, you know, <clears throat> it, we were not able to bring our own, like, brink security armed guards with us. Uh, a buddy of mine said, you know, I know these guys, they're, they're professional fighters. And they're really, they're really tough. And we thought, well, you know, it's got to be good to go down with, you know, six guys. It's got to be better than two. And at least we'll have some, we, you know, we, were call, we just call them the muscle. And we hired these guys, but we'd never seen them. And when they came to, came to help us go collect the money, we didn't realize that they were like early Asian MFF fighters. <laughs> and I think that the biggest guy was about 145 pounds. <laughs> they were tough as hell, by the way. I, I wouldn't want to mess with them. But let's just say they weren't going to intimidate anybody. You know, so we could take all the muscle and put them in one car <laughs> with yeah, <right>. us. <laughs> so the muscle wasn't such a good idea. <laughs> I, I like the fact I knew you were in trouble going down there where because every time you went down there, you got auto insurance. So I was like, boy, there's no uh, safe part of this trip for you. I, I, I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> it's true. I, I just figured, you know, I was I was actually more afraid. It worried about trying to collect the money. I was more worried about about what would happen after we had the money yeah. and got to the parking lot. I just <laughs> thought that's probably when we're the most vulnerable. I got to say, it, it's a great story, and your book has a ton of endorsements. How has the reception been for the book? I think it's, you know, I'm a first time author, and it's really been amazing. I've sold nearly twenty thousand copies. Everybody tells me horse racing's dead, and you know. It's not. It's just absolutely taken off. It's been, um, you know, it's called the greatest gambling story ever told, and it's num it's been number one in ten separate Amazon categories. And wow. what's been surprising to me is, you know, I kind of expected to do well at number one in horse racing, but it's also the number one book in the country in horse racing, sports gambling, gambling, and a bunch of other things like sports biographies, organized crime white collar crime it's just really taken off so it, it it's really been fun um also on my on my website if i can um barpaulauthor.com there's a great 57 second tr uh video a book trailer video and it's a really fun you click on that and you'll be able to get the video i, I posted the the video up on facebook and i've had like 300,000 downloads of wow. it so, you know, maybe horse racing and gambling isn't isn't dead. We just needed a good story. <laughs> well, what's next for the book? I mean, I mean, make a great movie or a TV uh, show. What's next for the book? Well, I, I live in L.A., and, again, I'm a first-time author. I just didn't know what the hell I was doing. But I, I wrote the manuscript, and I gave it to some uh, movie guys, because I'm in L.A., and they, they were, you know, there's more movie guys than, than anybody else here. Mm -hmm. And... Within like ten days, I had optioned the book wow. to some very the, the guys that did Lone Survivor, uh, very big movie guys. So the book has actually been optioned um, for a possible like Netflix or other series, TV series, or a movie. I, I sure hope that happens. I think we got a good chance. I, I think it would be a really fun, colorful uh, TV series. I sure hope that, that hopes that happens. Mark, we're running out of time, but can you tell people how to get a copy of The Greatest Gambling Story Ever Told, A True Tale of Three Gamblers, The Kentucky Derby, and The Mexican Cartel? Yes, you really, it's so simple to find. I mean, the, if you just go to my website, markpaulauthor.com, you can see it everywhere, but it's literally everywhere. It's on Amazon, it's, it's an ebook, it's a print book, it's a hard copy book. It's also a really cool audio book. If you like you know, consuming podcasts, you probably like audio books. It, it's uh, uh, on audible.com. So just go to my website. It's also on um, Apple Books. You really can't miss it. The, the greatest gambling story ever told. Uh, and I thank you, Dave, for having me on. 
Mark Paul, author of The Greatest Gambling Story Ever Told, A True Tale of Three Gamblers, The Kentucky Derby, and The Mexican Cartel. Thanks a lot for coming on and telling us about it. It's absolutely an amazing, incredible story, and everyone should pick up a copy of the book. Thank you very much, Dave. Stick around. We'll be right back with more House of Cards. You're listening to House of Cards. It's a casino. People got to win sometimes. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm a giant, colorful check to deposit. Beating the House is brought to you by BetMGM Casino. Play your favorite casino games at BetMGM Online Casino. Slots, table games, live dealer games, everything you love about Atlantic City and Vegas, all online at BetMGM. Don't wait. Join in the fun now. Go to BetMGM Casino, create an account using our promo code TURNPIKE, and become a verified player. New players get $25 free when signing up, plus a first deposit bonus up to $1,000. That's promo code TURNPIKE at BetMGM.com for a 100% deposit match up to $1,000 plus $25 free. Grab a lion's share of the fun at BetMGM.com. Must be 21 years or older to place a bet. Terms and conditions apply. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. And welcome to this week's edition of Beating the House, where we celebrate the casino wins, the slot machine wins, the kino wins, the lottery wins, the sports betting wins. Whatever kind of win you have in a gambling instance and you have beaten the house, we will talk about it in this segment. Yep, yep. We're going to go to our home state of New Jersey. Okay. I think this is our first New Jersey jackpot. Really? All right, I'm surprised at that. Brick and mortar. Okay, he's a brick and mortar. Resorts Casino in Atlantic City. So if it's brick and mortar, if I go to their Facebook, will I see someone with a huge check? I did not see it on their Facebook. Okay. It was in a press release. Okay, it was in a press release? Yes. Okay. Uh, according to the press release issued by Resorts Casino Hotel in Atlantic City, a guest named Donna from Hazlitt, New Jersey, so a local, okay, uh, was very fortunate. According to the release, Donna hit the citywide, sh- citywide shared Wheel of Fortune progressive jackpot. Wow. Great. Again, the IGT Wheel of Fortune games. I, I You know, that, that gives out a lot of money, Wheel of Fortune. This one was the citywide progressive. Okay. Which means these were all tied into the machines all across Atlantic City. Okay. Uh, the jackpot was $1.644 million. <laughs> okay. Uh, no word on what Congratulations, she bet. Donna. I'd like to know what she bet for that. I I don't know. I mean, some of these things don't put the, the bet what, what, Whatever she bet, yep. it was worth it. Donna of Hazlitt, New Jersey, is one of the biggest jackpot winners in Atlantic City during the last 10 years. Wow. Congratulations. As a matter of fact, I remember, I think I mentioned in a previous uh, edition of Beating the House, that I looked back and there weren't too many huge jackpots being given out in Atlantic City. I think there was like $2 million jackpots over the last year. Okay. And so, but the, none were 1.6 million. I mean, they had just hit 1 million kind of thing. They weren't that, they weren't this size. This was the biggest. Wow. Which great. was really cool that to was see. That great. Great. Stick around. We'll be right back with more House of Cards. privately for adult products at adamandeve.com. They've got massage oils, lingerie, and lots more we can't mention here. Use the offer code SPICE404. They'll give you 50% off almost any one item, three free DVDs, 
free mystery gift, and free shipping. That's 50% off, free shipping, and more. Private shopping starts at adamandeve.com. You're listening to House of Cards. It's a casino. People got to win sometimes. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a giant, colorful check to deposit. Beating the House is brought to you by BetMGM Casino. Play your favorite casino games at BetMGM Online Casino. Slots, table games, live dealer games, everything you love about Atlantic City and Vegas, all online at BetMGM. Don't wait. Join in the fun now. Go to BetMGM Casino, create an account using our promo code TURNPIKE, and become a verified player. New players get $25 free when signing up, plus a first deposit bonus up to $1,000. That's promo code TURNPIKE at BetMGM.com for a 100% deposit match up to $1,000 plus $25 free. Grab a lion's share of the fun at BetMGM.com. Must be 21 years or older to place a bet. Terms and conditions apply. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Why don't you continue what you were saying before the break? Going back over to Vegas, the Orleans Casino. We've had the Orleans on a couple times. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a lucky slot player turned a a $3.75 bet into more than $665,000. Wow, great. The gambler going by the name Bruce, was visiting Las Vegas from San Diego and hit on the Aristocrats Gaming Buffalo Grand. Now, that's the one with the picture of the big buffalo on it, right? Yes. The one I always see walking into a casino. That's like the first thing I see. That's Because the they one, have these big cabinets. That's exactly it. They have those okay. bank of cabinets right at the beginning of the casino All floor. Right, yeah. As a matter of fact, I think when they actually get them installed in the casino, they find out the entrance that has the most traffic. Sure, And sure. they put them right near there. So, uh, But this one was the Buffalo Grand because uh, I think there's about six or seven different Buffalo-branded games that Aristocrat uh, puts out. And some of them are all linked together. It's very popular. But uh, he was at the uh, Buffalo. He was at the Orleans uh, Casino, uh, owned by Boyd Gaming. Uh, casino representatives say he was in town with family and won the grand jackpot on the three dollars seventy five cent wager. And this is the second major jackpot issued by the Buffalo Grand Machines. Uh, earlier this month, another Buffalo Grand jackpot was hit at the Cannery Casino. For one million dollars. Wow, boy! So Buffalo Buffalo Grand is the uh, progressive to play. You know, I see some Buffalo stuff on online in New Jersey. The online slots in they're, New Jersey. They're all tied they're, in. They're all tied I, I don't in, know huh? if the online ones are all tied into each other, I but know. I know the land ones. If you're in a casino, see, hearing these stories now, now I want to go play the. What was the first one? That was the Wheel of Fortune. Now I want to check out the Buffalo Grand thing. So, uh, you well, know. you got to remember the it's, wheel. It gets me motivated. The Wheel of Fortune game, which is 25 years old. Sure, uh, they actually have the most variations of the game out there. I don't know which variation she was playing there there's a ton of them there, there there's, ton of there's them over online, 50 yeah. there's over 50 variations yeah. of the wheel of fortune game and there's also multiple variations of the wheel of fortune slot online too so you may be playing wheel of fortune but you may not be playing the wheel of fortune that this woman was playing over in resorts same thing with buffalo buffalo has all these different iterations online as well in the online casinos uh, let's go on to, we're going to New Buffalo, Michigan, staying with the Buffalo theme. New Buffalo, Michigan, that's the name of the town. That's huh? the name of the town. Okay. The Four Winds Casino in New Buffalo, Michigan. That's just north of the Indiana-Michigan state line, by the way. All right. I had to go look that up myself. Uh, the a Northwest Indiana resident won playing the Dollar Storm Caribbean Gold slot machine. Never heard of that one. Nope, never heard of that one. What's it called again? The Dollar Storm Caribbean Gold. Okay. <laughs> at the Four Winds Casino. All right. Uh, the winner, identified by the casino only as a resident of the Jasper County town of Wheatfield, so anonymous from Wheatfield, hit the machine's super grand progressive jackpot worth $220,980. Wow. Records show he played a $50 wager. Wow. On the spin. I've never done $50 on one spin of a uh, 
slot machine. Have you? No. No, no I, I've, I've never, never done I, that. I, no, so. I, I, I barely do the... Good for... Hey, you know what? That was a gutsy move. The minimum bet on the machine was 5 bucks, so he's oh, playing 50 that's per a spin. Gutsy move. Good for him. And casino Good, officials... Well, we said a resident. We were just... Is it a him or a her? They don't... Are they saying he... According she? to the report, it was a him. Okay. Well, congratulations to him. So, uh, but the casino officials have said now the progressive jackpot has been reset and will resume building until another player wins the top prize. Do they really need to put that in the release because it's a progressive jackpot? Well, That's one. Do yeah. people don't people realize it resets? I mean, I, I don't mean to be maybe, a snarky comment no, no, there, but maybe you know, not. I don't know if you need to put that in the release. But I mean, does it? Click down to zero again? No, no, or? they have a certain minimum level. That's what I mean. Well, so every, every, that's a good question. I mean, yeah. it's a, you know, maybe, who, maybe, who knows maybe, what it starts with? Maybe they should have said it, it'd what be they just my, with. It'd be just my luck to win a progressive jackpot right after someone else wins it. Yeah, you know, you're right? the next spin. <laughs> right. yeah. I, hey, look, you won uh, 20 Nothing. bucks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's stay. Oh, let's go back over to Vegas, Red Rock Resort. Uh, another Stations Casino, by the way. Stations Casino seems to pay out all everywhere on every single one of their uh, casinos. I stayed at a Stations Casino. It's a fun place to stay in. So, uh, you know. Local video poker player hit a Royal Flush progressive jackpot at Red Rock Resort. And he was a Stations Casino boarding pass holder. Great. Which Great. is the loyalty club. Great. I, I love the way they, they call that, the yeah, boarding, boarding pass. pass. It was actually yeah. kind of cool. He turned a $15 bet. Into a jackpot of one hundred and fifty thousand eight hundred fifty three dollars. Great. He was playing double double bonus poker. I th- I know what that is. I play it's that video before. poker. Yeah, yeah, I play that before. I, I see I, it everywhere. I, it's I play everywhere. that. Uh, I play that when I go to the bar. It's the ones that's that are exactly it. Yeah, in the in the bar. But they also have banks of them everywhere on the casino floor yeah. too. Yeah. So uh, he wasn't sitting. At I've the never bar. They... played video poker on the gaming floor. It's always been when I went to the bar, had a beer, and I played video poker. Well, the press release made that distinction. He was playing on the casino floor, okay, not at the bar. All right, okay. so. Uh, I guess that is a, a Maybe thing people so, realize it's on the floor, too. Can someone do a study that uh, do you win more at video poker on the gaming floor instead of the bar? Or, or is it vice versa? Have there versa? been studies? There's studies all the time in gaming. I wonder if there's a study on that. Oh, I'm sure someone's already actually looked at it. Go to Wizard of someone, Odds. He's probably got Someone it. probably got a grant for that yeah. from the <laughs> from UNLV. Gaming, yeah, gaming <laughs> Institute. Uh, let's uh, leave the casinos for a little bit and talk lottery. We got a couple lottery wins to talk about. Two from the Virginia Lottery. Two. Wow. Two. Okay. Renee Trueheart from Richmond, Virginia, won one hundred fourteen thousand six hundred fifty nine dollars playing the Virginia Lottery's Robo Cashed Instant Online Game. She did it at home, by the way, Good. which is the purpose of an online casino. Great. Uh, she played the online game on her personal device. Didn't say whether it was a tablet or a phone. And she just kept playing the game because she saw it was new, and she just kept playing. And then she hit for $114,659. Certainly paid off. Yep. Uh, it's a progressive jackpot. So it was tied in with, I think, two other games that they have on the Virginia Lottery. Uh, odds of winning any prize in this game are 1 in 4.58. So not bad odds to win. Good. Yeah, no, it's something good to so play. So she won 114000 So that was... Uh, the Virginia Lottery's Robo Cash game, right? One of their instant online games. All yes. right. Uh, here's another instant online winner. Bob Shea wasn't doing much, just sitting in front of the TV playing some Virginia Lottery games on his personal device. That's a line directly from the press release. Wow, great! Suddenly, the Sutherland man saw something he couldn't believe. He had just won one hundred eighty-five thousand dollars playing the Cash Buster Multiplier game. That's great. That's another online instant game, and. Uh, the odds in winning prizes on this progressive, again, another progressive. Uh, Virginia Lottery has a lot of progressive online games, which is pretty cool. Great. Uh, one in 4.64 million. Uh, one in 4.64, I should say. That's how the odds to winning. Okay. Now, we're going over to the Oklahoma Lottery for our last entry for the day, and they are looking for the winner of a $2 million winning ticket. Wow. Well, hopefully by the time this airs, they found that person. This was so. If anyone's listening in Oklahoma or passed through Oklahoma and got a lottery ticket, check it out. You might be a two million dollar winner. I'm assuming by the time this airs, they're going to find this person. I, I like the fact that they're looking. The se- <laughs> it's the second two million dollar Powerball winner drawn in just ten days. He didn't win the grand prize, but they won the 
you know, one of the lower lower level prizes of the overall jackpot because Powerball still hadn't been won as we're taping this anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh, the ticket was sold at the Snack Shack. Snack Shack. At 12th and Broadway in Sulphur, Oklahoma. Sulphur, Oklahoma. That must be a really smelly town. Smells very, like sulfur. Very interesting name. Yeah. I, I Is that why it's named Sulphur? Cause it's I have smell- no idea. I've never been to Sulphur, Oklahoma. Sulphur, Sulphur, Oklahoma. Uh, the winner has matched five out of five white balls and added Power Play, a $1 investment that turned a $1 million prize into the $2 million prize. Uh, let's see. Wednesday night Powerball winner, the $2 million, is the 72nd Oklahoma Powerball Lottery millionaire, including a Norman woman who won a $2 million Powerball prize on September 20th. Wow. So September was a great a month for Powerball winners in Oklahoma. But that's it for this week's Beat in the House. Well, that'll do it for us this week. We'll see you next time on the radio with House of Cards. 